Right, so it's been more than a month since I got this phone. And um, first of all, my heart goes out to those who haven't received their phone yet. It must be really painful every day thinking that, am I gonna get the phone or not? Um, I've been there and obviously I haven't actually suffered as much as you guys, so my heart goes out to you. And I really, really hope that you guys get your phone in the end, um, pretty soon, that is. Now the thing is, um, a lot of people ask me why am I not with this so-called hate group of calling everything a scam, scam all the time, and I wanted to mainly explain the reason why I'm not with this group, is that I want to encourage Escobar Inc. trying to somehow bring the positive vibe, because pretty much everyone is calling them a scammer. So if you're in their place, which I hope they have a good intention, which I still don't understand how they managed to give out a 2000 US dollar phone to fifth of price, but I wanted to encourage them so that the target is my interest, my best heart goes out to those buyers who've been with me from day one of this whole process. I want them to make sure all of them, most of them or all of them get their phone in the end. And I think the last thing I want to do is be side with this, this hate group because that's, I don't think that's gonna help at all with this matter, with for the goods of those people who already bought it. So that's where I'm standing. Now, um, regards to why I kind of stopped replying to the Escobar fold videos and so on is that I sensed, I realized that more comments I make um, when I'm trying to be most informative, like as soon as I got the phone, what's going, what was going through my head was, I'm gonna keep, continue on to provide all the valuable source information so that it will somehow help this, these individuals, my, my guys, my friends. Um, but more I say things, people are getting more angry and they already turned back against me. So I had to make a decision saying, well, it's no, there's no point being helpful here because they, whatever they, I say, they're, they're not gonna listen to me. And the reason I'm making this video is that I believe things have quieted down a bit and I'm hoping that they will somehow understand where I'm coming from and I could somehow win their heart again. Because I really believe that, and I really hope that other than tech is that I'm laying my face, my identity on a social media and I want to become and it's my own greed that I want to be known as guy who's most reliable, trustworthy guy. And um, I have to be honest with you, one thing, the reason I entered this race uh, on buying this Escobar Fold that ended up being Escobar 2 is that honestly, I thought I'm not going to get the phone. Um, and a lot of guys say that I'm a YouTuber that I got it, but I saw who are not YouTuber got the phone as well. But anyway, I entered this whole thing that I wanted to build up my own team that, um, you know, we could dialogue, we could create this trust zone that we help each other on tech industry and, um, you know, my own group. But because of this whole phone that is that everyone turned against me um, and everyone's calling me a scammer. No one helps me. Normally, if I get a hate comment with different matter, there's always someone who actually defends me on behalf of me, which is great feeling. That's why I love being YouTube, but that's, the hate comment, I don't mind, but those who I thought were my friends in my team, they turn their back towards me. And I'm pretty much a loner trying to defend my own case. And knowing the fact that you're alone, that everyone hates you um, for your, which I consider it to be a good intention that turns out to be quite an opposite, it really hurts. Um, but I do want to remind you that my heart's always with you guys and I hope you will somehow understand me, where I am, what I'm going, what I'm going through one day. Um, but, um, but, and those, those people actually who comment on my channel saying that I'm a scammer and leave all these threats and hate comments, I got a big question for you actually. Um, Number one, you say that I'm encouraging people to buy this phone, therefore I'm part of the scamming scheme and so on. Don't you believe people who could afford four or five US dollars have their own brain to make their own decision? 
Seriously, you don't believe they got the intelligence to make decisions. Because I do believe they have intelligence, especially when they have four or five hundred US dollars. Okay? So, and there's a thing called caveat emptor buyers beware. But um, the other thing is that you got to think about why you come to my channel while you don't go to the big tech guys channels who did the same thing, who has multi-million uh, subscribers and get multi-million views out of the kick out of this product. Why aren't you going to their channel and coming to my channel? Well, it's quite obvious, isn't it? First of all, Escobar Inc. seems to be not answering most of your emails, so you're angry. You want to release that anger towards someone, blame someone else who actually do respond back to you, which I am very well known for. And you consider me as a piece of toilet paper that you just rub whatever your dirt on and just throw things away. You consider how that me as a toilet paper, pretty much. And you don't go to the big tech guys channel because you know the fact that if you leave hate comments or blaming them for what they did, you know their fans are gonna attack you. So you worry about the crowd, but you know I'm nobody, no one, no one is on my side. So you think you could get away with leaving all these hate comments towards me. Fine, that's the way how you work. That's how you're gonna function in society. So um, leave, live your life like that and see how it ends up. Uh, good luck to you with that. But overall, I just wanna say is that I'm, I know I'm a loner here. I'm, I'm hurt by this whole matter. And it has created huge damage to my reputation on my channel. Um, and my face has already been revealed in the so social media. Um, and it's, it's pretty much finished, isn't it? For this whole YouTube thing. Uh, thanks to everyone. So um, I'll say goodbye to you. And do whatever you want. And try to live happy life. Goodbye.